Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars and today we are in a 125 year old feed barn that served as a parts storage from I believe the 30s until today. So I'm not disclosing the location. The owner is having some health problems and he said, you know, you guys can walk through. I know him pretty well. He said, do not disclose the location. I don't want people knowing where this place is at. I don't want people calling. I just, I'm not up to it anymore. So I'm just gonna document this stuff for you all. And we're gonna walk through and kinda look at some parts in the cars here. So, a lot of very old trucks. You know, pre-32. These were parked in here in the 50s and 60s. These things have always been in dry storage. So the cabs on these are just amazing. And see, this is why someone's been in here and wrote hi 2016 and put a heart. So someone is being funny and being cute. So I'm sorry you guys, but I cannot share the information. If you see a part or anything neat in the pile, just comment the timestamp you see it and what it is. There's a ton of stuff in here. I have no idea what the stuff is. You have old school manifolds for flatheads, old carbs, air cleaners oil pans, hubcaps, radios, hell there's a whole motor right there. Just one massive overflow of parts back in the day. Let me get a flashlight on here for everyone. You have more old tires, wooden spoke rims, wire wheels. There's a hood for a Model T or Model A, I believe. Hubcaps for an old Chevy. Steering columns, it's just places like this do not exist anymore. The old axles. So the story on this place is the owner, the current owner's father and grandfather had a parts business and I've walked through one of his junkyards before. I bought a couple 59 Cadillacs and Chevys from him. But they parted a lot of pre-war Fords out. Chevrolets, Dodges, all that good stuff. They kept a lot of the parts around, obviously. And as people needed stuff, they they would come here and dig through it. You have a, a barrel of hubcaps. Mike, what do you think? Mm. Just mmm. Mm. <laughs> I'll turn this off. I'll turn the flashlight off for now. We'll go up in the loft here in a second. Obviously they're still using this. There's a wood splitter. That's a newer item. Yeah, if you're looking for pre-war parts, wheels, air cleaners, hell an old Packard cylinder head. There's barrels upon barrels of old hubcaps, old Pontiac, I believe is what that is.
gas tanks up the wazoo. I believe that's a 55 Chevy dog dish. What's that say on it? Old school Coke. What's that one say? 7 Up. Gauge clusters out of a pre pre war vehicle. Old school radiator shrouds. Let's go upstairs now. And if you guys know where this location's at, because obviously the guy's been around for a while, please don't disclose it in the comments. Keep that to yourself. I want to honor this guy's wishes and, and keep thieves and people that uh, have ill intentions for him. Keep them out of knowing where he is, who he is, and where this place is at. Every time you walk up here, you find something neat and something cool that you never saw before. Pretty nice original speedometer. I'm not sure what these are. So if anybody knows, leave a comment. It's older than me, that's for sure. Old school wheel bearings. Instrument panels, wiring. Tons of glass. And this is the old school glass. The stuff you come through the window and it's gonna kill you. These are all windshields and back glasses. Tons of old school seats. They have that old vinyl material and 15 million springs in the seats. That's you can tell they're, they're as old as they are. More gas tanks. As you can see, it's just packed full. And it's just kind of been untouched by time. Mountains of brake, fuel line, brake line. Pretty cool walking through this in 2021. Not a whole lot of places like this still exist, especially not open to the public. And I guess I shouldn't say open to the public because it's really not, but. <laughs> Old school window cranks. Hell, that one still works. It's trying to move. About fell over. That's a light off of a thirty something vehicle. It's actual glass in the uh, the lens. So yeah, let's go back downstairs and keep walking. You know a vehicle's been here a while when the tag is 1956. You just got doors, glass, steering columns, just everything kind of scattered in here. 57 Bel Air four door door Ooh. 
old wood uh, wind or window cranks bolted to wood. Tons of pre-war doors. It's amazing. Just forgotten by time. old truck cab still in okay shape really Old school metal head gaskets. This is a beautiful truck. This one was last tagged in 1957, so the same thing. Been off the road quite a while. It's pretty neat walking through something like this. back of the truck is just loaded full of old school parts. Not sure what that came off of. There's a matching set of 1957 license plates. And yeah, just a lot of wheels and a lot of cool stuff. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, leave a like rating. Comment with anything you guys saw today that interests you. Old school carbs. And make sure to subscribe as we're always out looking for old cars, old parts, and you never know what we're going to stumble across next. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars. I'll catch you in the next video.